All right, guys, so I've had a few requests on Twitter for an update on my mining rig. So in this video, that's what we're gonna be looking at. I'm gonna be showing you how much money I've made since I started mining, talking to you about the rig in general, things such as heat and reliability and maintenance. I'm also discussing whether mining is still worth it in 2022. So make sure you stick around for that. So for those of you that aren't aware, I built a mining rig, I think it was around May time last year. So the date of the video that I uploaded was the 3rd of June. So I think I built the rig in May. Um, and a lot of people have watched this video. Over 40,000 people have watched the mining rig video. So thank you to everyone that's watched the video and hit that like button. And if you haven't liked this video yet, make sure you head down there and like this one as well. And this video is literally a step-by-step -step guide of me building this mining rig. So if you're looking to build a mining rig, what I'll do at the end of this video is pop up a big thumbnail link so you guys can click on it to take you straight through to that video. So um, I posted an update a few months ago to say that I was still mining, um, but I've had some requests on Twitter for a more recent update for 2022. Um, so if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you follow me there at Darren the DGen, you should be able to spot me with the big pink branding. Um, and that's the best way to interact with me. I don't really check the YouTube comments that much anymore because they just get taken over by bots. So Twitter is definitely the best place to interact with me. So getting on to mining. Yes, I am still mining at the moment. And if we go to my nice hash account and we go to the rig manager, and you can see that my six GPUs that I've got in my mining rig are still busy mining away. So these have been mining away now for, I guess, coming up eight months soon. Um, and so far, things have been really reliable, actually, which brings me on to the, the point that I wanted to get to, which is about reliability and maintenance um, and heat as well. You know, they kind of all go hand in hand. So let's talk about this. This is Chrome Remote Desktop. This is what I use to access my mining rig. As you can see there, this is using NiceHash and it's busy mining away. And it's been doing so pretty much 24 seven for the past, let's say eight months that it's been mining away. Now in terms of reliability, I've had no issues. I haven't had to change any of the hardware. I've had no issues with the risers or cables or heat or anything like that. So for me, it has been surprisingly reliable and it's been the most reliable employee I've ever had <laughs> turning up 24 seven. Um, the only maintenance I need to do is I log into this uh, system once per month. So I have a reminder on my calendar, sends me alert once per month to log in, to update nice hash and to update Windows. Now, if you didn't install on Windows 10, if you installed on one of the other operating systems that were more designed for mining, then you probably wouldn't have to do this manual update. But with Windows, I'll try and show you now if this allows me to, I don't know what Google have done, but Chrome Remote Desktop is garbage compared to what it used to be. It's so, so slow. But I'll try and show you what I have to do each month for this rig to keep it running. So once I'm logged into the rig, I just go to the search there and type in Windows Update. And if this actually registers my keystrokes, uh, there we go, that one will do. I'll click through to that. And I can show you what I do each month. So at the moment you can see updates are paused. So I choose Resume Updates. That will then download the past 30 days of updates. And if anyone uses Windows, you know, there's usually quite a few updates. So this will download it. And the graphics will be a bit glitchy because like I say, Chrome Remote Desktop is pretty poor at the moment. And then when all, all the updates are done, I then need to manually pause them and choose the date as far out as possible, which is usually around just over four to five weeks out that I can pause it to. So I set my rem reminder every four weeks to make sure that I log in and do this. I did have it earlier on uh, last year in 2021 when a Windows update took place without my knowledge. Um, and that basically disabled my mining rig until I realized about a week later. So that's, that's why I'm on top of it now and have the monthly reminder to come in and do these updates. But what I'll do now, I'll just let these updates run through and then I'll come back to the video in a second once these updates are done. I gave it a few minutes, but the updates were coming down quite slowly. So I'm just gonna show you on this PC rather than on the mining rig, how to delay the update. So you're in the Windows update section, go to advanced options. You have to do this once the updates are done and then it says pause updates and then you choose a date furthest in the future. So if you're choosing a date end of February, so if this was me now, I'd set a reminder for one of these days. You know, Give yourself a couple of days before the actual day that it's gonna force you to do the updates. So that's it for kind of looking after the rig. There's the, the monthly update. There's been no hardware issues and heat has been okay. The best way to think about it with this is the heat or the electricity that you use with the GPU 
is 100% efficient and will be converted to heat. So if you think about it like an electric heater, as this is just under 500 watts, this is a, effectively a half a kilowatt heater. So if you ever think about that, that is the sort of heat you'd expect from your mining rig, depending on how much uh, depending on how much watts it uses. If you know it's a thousand watt mining rig, then you're going to have the heat of a one kilowatt electric heater. So that's how you can look at heat. For me, it's not been an issue. I mean, I actually have it in my gym, and it's really nice because it keeps that gym at a nice steady temperature throughout the winter months. And only in the summer, where maybe it's kind of like 25 to 30 degrees Celsius outside do the fans really kick in. Otherwise, most of the time it's almost silent. The fans are rarely running. So it's quite a nice low power rig, low heat rig, and very quiet rig. But obviously if you want some of the higher power GPUs, you'd have more heat and more noise. So keep all of those things in mind when deciding the sort of GPU rig that you want to build. That obviously will impact the overall cost and also where you can locate it as well. Because if it's very hot and very noisy, you're probably gonna need to find somewhere specific to put it, more so than something that's quiet and doesn't generate very much heat. So with all that in mind, what are mining profits like at the moment? Well, if you go to whattomine.com, you can pop in the GPUs that you're looking at and it will give you estimated figures as to the mining hash rate that you'll be achieving and also how much energy you'll, you'll be using and how much money, hopefully, you'll be making with your mining rig. So I've popped in here my 2060, so I've got six RTX 2060 GPUs and if we go back to NiceHash, you can see those guys are there. So I've got six of those in the rig, so let me go back to whattomine. So you pop them in there and it will do the calculations. Now based on that, it is estimating my rig is capable of 180 mH per second and we use 720 watts. Now that isn't accurate because NiceHash does optimize it. So I'm getting close to 190 overall and less than 500 watts of power are being used. And this has been consistent over the past seven, eight months. So these are reliable figures. And so whatever you see on what to mine, expect to get something a little bit better than you see there. And if we scroll down, it will give us estimated revenue. So at the moment, they're estimating around five to six dollars uh, for nice hash or for mining Ethereum directly. Now that is probably 50% of what it was a little while back. And also since my last video, I think I made a video in November updating on the profits. And the, the simple reason for that is that the value of cryptocurrency has tanked since I think it peaked at the start of November and we've been going down ever since. So if we go to the ETH chart, make sure you guys can see it. I think last time I made a video, we were up here at nearly $5,000 per Ethereum, and now we're down <laughs> close to 2,200 and potentially going even lower. And it's the same across the board for pretty much every single cryptocurrency. You've got Bitcoin as well, which is down. I think Bitcoin is about 50% down at the moment. Let me just launch the chart so you guys can see. So we're down from, to move that over there so you guys can see we're down from a 69 peak and at the moment we're at 32 to 33,000 again potentially could go lower still so that is why revenue is down at the moment so I can understand if people look at what to mine at the moment think this isn't very profitable the thing to keep in mind it all depends what your plan is like for me I've mined in more profitable markets over the past seven or eight months but I've never sold any of the coins. For me, it's all about stacking these coins because my strong belief is that long-term, they will be worth a lot, lot more money than they are at the time that I mine them. So I think when I made my last video, I was approaching break even on my mining rig, but because Bitcoin has pulled back 50%, the amount of money that I've generated from my mining rig, I don't think I'm at break even at the moment, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna keep stacking those coins and then hopefully in future, they'll go back up as the market recovers and it will make more sense in the long run. It'll be more profitable for me to do it that approach and just sell it directly now into standard currency, which you could do, but I think the best approach for any of these coins that you might be mining, unless it's ones that you don't expect to be about long-term, is to stack the coins because long-term they should continue to go up in value despite the short-term pullbacks and corrections we do go through from time to time. So that gives you an overview of where we are with profitability. Now, the key thing a lot of people will be looking at is GPU availability and pricing. And anyone that's been following this niche or this sector recently, or say recently for the past year, will know that GPU prices have been insane, especially the first half of last year. These are the Nvidia ones, so your RTX series. You can see here, for between March and June last year, and I think I ordered in May pretty much at the peak, which, you know, that's just the way it played out. But still, prices are still very, very high and well above well, well above our RP prices. And if we go down, it's the same for AMD ones as well. So GPUs still aren't cheap. And I think now the GPUs that I've got in my machine, I think I paid around 
five to six hundred pounds for those at the time and now they're probably between four to five hundred pound each so they haven't come down much so in that sense the rig's doing really well because i could probably still sell it now sell all of the parts i'd be well comfortably in profit um, and would get the majority of the money back that i invested in the rig as well so if you are getting into this, you do need a decent budget if you're going to put together a rig that's going to make it worthwhile actually mining in the first place. Um, the key thing that you have to do your own research on is electricity cost, and I covered that in the previous video. They have gone up quite a lot. So for me at the moment, I would imagine I'm just about profitable at the moment because electricity has gone up and returns have gone down because coin values have gone down so much. But I'm confident that I, I can't say I'm confident that electricity costs will come down in future, but I'm confident that crypto coin values will recover. So that's why I'm sticking with it. And I plan to continue to mine. So just an update on how much I've actually mined. I've been able to download this report from NiceHash. And this tells me every single mining transaction that they have paid me since we started all the way back. Well, it's the 11th of May that it's got here, but I actually did a test mine on my workstation this wasn't my mining rig because i wanted to see how nice hash works you can see there i did a tiny bit of mining on the 11th of may last year and then started properly at the end of may and i've been mining ever since and if we scroll down you will see i've been mining for a long long time um yeah and it's been really really consistent and reliable so that's why i'm happy to keep mining because it's very very much a passive income just something that goes on in the background and i don't have to put too much work or thought into this and you can see as i go through this column here in particular, you can see at the time of those payments, the value of Bitcoin. So sometimes you know, 40, 50,000 it was at. Um, but as we go through more recently, Bitcoin is dropping, 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 dropping. <laughs> um, sorry, this is actually in GBP, not in um, USD. This is why this is below, you know, I think Bitcoin's currently at $33,000, but they're putting 25,000 pound here. And if we go all the way to the bottom, let me just get that to the right place so you guys can see it as well. Um, at the moment, the, everything they've paid out to me is currently valued at <clears throat> £2,133. So once they take off the mining fee. So just over £2,000 in revenue, that's at the current prices. So if Bitcoin had stayed at those highs at sixty to $70,000, this would be worth double, so which would be about £4,000, which would be, well, I think, about 30% up on my initial mining rig investment cost. I think that cost me just over £3,000. So that's where we are. And like I say, if I would have pulled out this money and sold it into traditional currency as and when I got paid, I would probably be at break even or above at the moment. But I'm deciding to sit on these coins and hold them for the long term. Now, for those of you that are wondering whether to get into mining at the moment, because obviously with revenues being lower than what they were um, over the past year or so, and also lots of talk about Ethereum 2.0, and when that fully launches, will there be much to mine profitably? Well, they were speaking with Vitalik at the start of January. So Vitalik is the founder of Ethereum and he estimated that ETH 2.0 is only 50% complete. Now, they've been working on ETH 2.0 for a long, long time. I just want to try and find something here that I think, there we go. This is a quote from Vitalik here. When he was asked how far along is the Ethereum 2.0, I would say around 50%. I'd be willing to go past 60 once the merge is fully complete. And I'd be willing to go past 80% once we have a full shard in implementation. Now, the key thing you need to pay attention to here is I'd be willing to go past 60% once the merge is complete. Now, the reason the merge is important because that is when proof of work is mer merged with proof of stake. Now, I don't think proof of work completely dies out at that point. I think it's going to be slowly scaled back. Um, but when I got into mining last year, we were told if 2.0 and this was going to be basically be over by the end of 2021. As it is, with his estimate that ETH 2.0 is 50% complete at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if people were mining ETH profitably for the rest of 2022. It's very hard to put an exact date on it because we've seen ETH 2.0 launch dates for the past couple of years and they've all come and gone. And I, I realistically don't see that changing any time soon. Now they did share their roadmap. So if you wanna go onto his Twitter, you can see on their roadmap what they've got planned and go through all of this stuff and see what they talk about, the merge, the surge, the verge, the purge, the splurge, etc. But the merge is the key one because this is when there's a, well actually they put merge, no more POW, no more proof of work. So maybe when the merge takes place and Ethereum mining will completely die. And the question then is, are there profitable coins that are worth mining or not? 
or is everyone going to be selling their GPUs and there'll be a mass glut of GPUs on the market and everyone can buy amazing gaming GPUs for dirt cheap prices. But either way, whatever happens, you guys need to do your own research on that and decide whether you're willing to make an investment, not knowing how long you're going to be able to use that investment for and also what that investment will be worth when kind of everything does probably inevitably come crashing down when mining dies out to an extent because it will, GPU mining will die out eventually unless coins come along to replace Ethereum, which there aren't any real signs of at the moment. There are a few coins, but I think the amount of hash rate that's available for Ethereum, if Ethereum mining wasn't available, those other coins wouldn't be very profitable to mine at all. So that kind of wraps up this video. Like I said at the start, if you want updates from me around mining, crypto, NFTs, make sure you follow me on Twitter at DarrenTheDGen. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you found this useful, hit the like button. And also what I do in the comments and in the description, I'm going to post a full list of all of the hardware that I used in my mining rig. So if you guys are looking to build your own mining rig, go through that hardware list and it'll give you some of the suggestions that I used in my rig. And I'll see you guys in the next video.